the channel squad today we're going to take a look at how to add hit markers to your gameplay footage easily now this is going to be using adobe rush one of the most simplistic editing softwares out there it is a free editing software there is a free version there's also a paid version i've got the paid version so it allows me to add music and some titles and transitions just stuff like that but this is really easy to use and to get you started in the world of producing your own gameplay footage. And I'll have links down in the description to all of these resources. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and give us a thumbs up if you like gameplay style how-to videos. So let's head over to the computer and take a look. Let's just dive right into it. I've selected a clip where I yeet this guy. He does not want to, he does not want to stop, but it's going to be a really good clip to show you uh, kind of what we've got going on here. So. We're going to play it through. I've already slowed everything down in post-production and just got the clip where I want it. And this is from my run cam. So on the run cam, I was running uh, 1080p at 60 frames a second. So my slow motion looks nice and smooth, you know, so everything's not jittery and, you know, going to make you motion sick. So anyways, I hit him a couple times and let's, let's go back through and just watch it one more time. So can kind of watch the BB hit him on the first time. We'll scrub through the scrub through right here. So you see my BB fly out the gun, and I'm just holding on to cursor here, scrubbing through the timeline, and we make impact right there. So I already have the PNG of the hit marker. We're just going to drag that down to our timeline and stick it right there, and then we'll be able to. We don't want to do that. We don't want to move the entire. Uh, there's hotkeys, we're just gonna go undo that so that way it's, nope, edit, undo, center everything. That's a nice thing, you make a mistake, edit, undo, there's hotkeys that you can use as well. But anyways, make sure you're selecting the hit marker, nothing else. So we are gonna put that kind of right here. Now remember when someone's viewing this on a phone, which 90% of my viewers are viewing on a phone, you're gonna wanna leave your hit marker a little bit bigger. Don't make your hit marker tiny. I noticed my last gameplay footage, you couldn't see some of the hit markers that I was doing. So uh, keep that in mind. So we're just going to shorten that up and bring in our sound effect because honestly, hit markers are cool, but you absolutely need to have uh, the sound effect of the, the hit marker or it's just, it's not going to, it's not going to be great. You want it to be, you want it to be awesome. So I'm just going to drag that down in, set it right there at the beginning of that. And you'll notice we get the nice, so We'll just, we're going to zoom in a bit too, that way we can kind of get this. So we'll start it right there and just bring it. We want that hit marker just to be the same size as the sound effect. So we get that nice. So we'll scrub through, the BB flies in there, makes impact with them. So it actually hits right there. So I'm going to go and adjust that a little bit just to make it look a little bit better. We'll zoom in a little more. We're going to move our hit marker to there, or sound effect, and also move this guy right here. And then we're going to move this down to there. Nice. And then we do hit him again, so we'll zoom out. And I mean, this is time consuming, but this is the easiest way to do it. And you could, in theory, do this on your smartphone or tablet as well. So we do hit the player one more time. Let's see where we got that shot at. All right, so BB flies out and we get a good impact right there. So we're gonna throw our hit marker in. Well, let's just do this. Let's do this. Let's use the sound effect right there. Then we'll zoom in. So the sound effect we're using as a, a marker basically on the timeline to see where we wanna throw this. So once we do that, we'll, we'll zoom back in on our timeline. We'll grab our hit marker. We're just gonna drag our hit marker. Something else you can do is duplicate the existing hit marker that you already made. So just hit, uh, you can copy, basically copy and paste that hit marker. That way the edit is basically the same length and same size realistically. So uh, for all intents and purposes, we're just gonna go right here to this side of it and we're just gonna hit S and then delete. So now we've got perfect sized hit marker, make sure we're selecting that. And then we're going to throw it right there. And we might shrink it down just a little bit. You want continuity, you want all of your hit markers to look the same. But for this clip, we're just going to do this. And then zoom back out. We'll check it again. Yeah, that was good. So good. He's still shooting at me. He's out, but hit him again. Nice. 
So honestly, I think those hit markers could be a little bit bigger too, because I mean, it, it's a split second. It just disappears like that. So keep that in mind when you're doing it. You could always go in and make your hit markers a little bit bigger because people aren't going to see that on, on smartphones. It's just, it's just not going to happen. So we'll make our, our hit markers a little bit bigger. Play it again. Yeah, zoom out. Dude comes running down the hill. Blast him. And we'll blast him one more time. Bonk. Good. So those hit markers look really good. And uh, yeah, it's as simple. It's as simple as that. You just slap them in there and then you can go to share and basically export local. You could export. I mean, if you did a whole gameplay video in Adobe Rush, you could basically just take it and export it straight to YouTube if this is connected to your YouTube channel, which I think is convenient. I've done it in the past. Uh, some of my videos are so long, I don't even mess with that. So what we are going to do is just go back and yeah, that's pretty much it. That's It's as simple as that to add hit markers. I will uh, put links to all of this down in the description, maybe have a Dropbox file that you guys can just go steal this stuff, uh, the PNG hit markers and the sound effect. That way you can do this too, because it's really awesome. It adds to the gameplay footage because some of my older gameplay footage absolutely sucked. Not having hit markers is just it's bland. It's really vanilla. So this spices it up a little bit. So you, you definitely want that, that spice in there. All right, squad, that'll wrap up the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope that helps and gets you started in making your gameplay footage a little bit better. You make it great with the way you play, but adding those hit markers is just that extra spice that I think everybody needs for their gameplay footage. If you enjoy this type of content, please subscribe. Give us a thumbs up too. It really helps boost everything in the algorithm so I can keep making this awesome content and helping other content creators continue to grow. As I grow, I don't want to be the only one going to the moon. I want to take everybody with me. So sub to the channel and let's do this thing together. Catch you on the next one.